The cold is hard on everything. In the fall it's very rainy, in the winter it's very cold. Just getting electronics and things like that to work out here is, is, a, is a significant challenge. And there's no Radio Shack. There's no Best Buy. There's no these big box stores that carry the parts that we use. So you have to do a lot of planning ahead of time and fly all that stuff up here to make sure you have the things that you need to make this stuff work. Also, just getting yourself and the things that you need out to these locations is difficult. You know, you're either traveling by tundra buggy or you're traveling by helicopter in a lot of cases. Out here on the, being on the tundra buggy in the tundra buggy lodge, when I first started seven or so years ago, and I was out here for like 80 days straight on a buggy. I used to think it was probably something like the astronauts were accustomed to going through, you know, because you couldn't go outside hardly without suiting up, wearing a bunch of gear. You couldn't get on the ground and walk around. And of course, of course, there's all these polar bears around, so you're kind of cooped up in this small space. I mean, mentally, it's a challenge to be out here for that amount of time with very little exercise. Polar bears come right up to the vehicles here. Um, you know, there isn't much else to do at this time of year, and, and they're very curious, smart animals, so they, they just come out to check us out, see what's going on. So we've got five cameras here in the Churchill area and the cameras themselves take the video that they see and that's sent over the wireless. That gets pumped back over the Hudson Bay Port Company, which is a big building in town, down into Churchill, Manitoba. That's where our internet starts. So that signal heads from there down to the uh, explore.org servers and from there out to uh, YouTube and to viewers' computers all over the world. Our audience, it's global. This is a beautiful place. I mean, look at what's happening right outside the window right now. The polar bear, it's snowing. I mean, this is it's a spectacular scene, and uh, I really hope people see this and, and want to help protect it. This place is changing fast uh, because of global climate change, and it's a story that needs to be heard. And so there's a lot of people that aren't able to come see it, so we're able to bring this into their homes and into their classrooms so that they can uh, be able to walk a gaze with the polar bear. Explore.org is the only place to see it on the screen. This is the only streaming cameras that I know of that show polar bears. My name is BJ Kershoffer and I'm the Director of Field Operations for Polar Bears International.